How's it going guys and welcome back to the False Tech YouTube channel. So in this video, um, this is going to be a different one, but I wanted to make this video. I'm going to be doing several videos on Plex and how to create a Plex server. I'll show you how to do it on Windows, which is what we're doing today. In the future, I'll be doing Ubuntu as well as Linux, possibly Raspberry Pi, which is a flavor of Linux as well, depending on what I use. Um, but all there is to it, first, you want to go ahead and sign up for the um, for Plex here. So we'll click the sign up button here. We're going to be doing with a free account. All this is free. We don't need to do a a uh, Plex Premier service or Premier Pass unless you really want to. I would look into that if you do want to do that, but we're not going to be doing that today. All right, I'm going to click continue with Google, or you can choose any of these options, but I'm going to use the Google option. All right, I have signed in. I'm waiting for it to load up now. This is for Plex Pass. We're not going to be doing this, so I'm going to click the X here. All right, and once you are logged in, guys, you will have the ability to download the Plex Media Server. Now, I'm sure you can get it in other, other ways, but this is the way I'll recommend it since this would give you the most up-to-date Plex Media Server. So uh, you can also download this for NAS platforms. That's something I may get into a little later on if demand is high. So we're going to click this Download Plex Media Server. We're going to click Download. Alright guys, so I just finished downloading. I'm going to go ahead and execute the ESC file here. We got a couple of options here. You can change the path. You can change where you want it to install. We're going to keep it the default. I'm going to choose install. Click yes here. Alright guys, so we're going to click the launch button here. Alright, and as you can see down here, you see the Plex, Plex Media Server is running. It is launching the web address here for the Plex Server. Alright guys, this explains how this explains how Plex works. Runs on your computer, it scans for your media, organizes it, and makes it beautiful, as it says. You can play this on any screen with your favorite Plex app. So um, if you have Plex installed, I can play it here, play it here. Or on my tablet and I of course as um, you already know you can play it on the shield click got it let's see if it pulls in my movies let's see how good this is at detected movies I have a, um, a terabyte drive attached to this laptop I am curious to see if it'll pull that in great we found the server you can also make it where you can access files outside of your home um, since this is not going to be a permanent solution, I'm going to uncheck this. We can give it a friendly name, so I'll call this uh, Plets O Beast. Friendly yet aggressive. Alrighty, so um, Plets organizes your media into libraries. You can uh, Add as many libraries as you would, would like. Uh, we're going to download this. Download this. Not don't really care about libraries right now. I just want my movies to be listed. I am um, later on. Um, you can create libraries such as horror, um, racing, and you can have your movies in different categories, years, or anything like that. But um, as of right now, I'm not going to go with that. I'm going to click next. I can go ahead and download the Plex apps. I'm going to click done. Alright guys, so um, it is now done, and the libraries was also the place where you add your movies. So I'm going to click on this add library here. I'm going to click movies. We'll keep it as movies. We'll click next. Browse for media folder. So I'm going to choose that now. Movies. Add. Let's see if it'll browse everything in here. Alright. So as you can see, man, it's, it's pretty quick. It's quicker than it used to be. Um, but it's pulling in all my movies, as you can see. Once these are pulled in, you can then stream on the shield and pull that up as well. Alright guys, so while this is going, I do want to talk about something real quick. As you know, False Tech provides free content to help you guys learn, to instruct you, to teach you, and to just make you, um, to give you knowledge that you may have not had or may have not come as easy to you. 
Um, and I'm going to be branching out. Uh, before I say this, False Tech will always have free and remain free content. Um, so guys, I've started something new. Um, I have in the description below, you'll see a Patreon, you'll see a GoFundMe, also a PayPal link. Um, I'm not asking for money in any, any any way. I don't I don't necessarily need money. I am working on getting a uh, permanent studio, permanent location to record. So guys, if you donate to any of those funds or if you click any of my affiliate links below, that will go towards false tech, bettering our content, bettering a studio, possibly um, funding a way for me to get my own house and own studio. So I just want to go ahead and throw that out. Um, false tech will remain free as it has been. But uh, if you feel like I've helped you in any way and you have some uh, extra cash laying around and you don't mind donating for a good cause, feel free to hop down there and do that. Um, otherwise, keep watching and keep enjoying it because, guys, going forward, it's going to get much more intense. You're going to love the videos I have coming out. I have quite a few ideas that um, I would like to put into place, put into action. So we'll see where that goes. But um, without further ado, guys, while this is going, I'm going to pull up Plex. I'm going to record my, my screen here. I can't pull it up on the shield because of networking issues at this current location. Again, that's another reason why I'm trying to get um, into a permanent studio, permanent uh, house. But let me launch Plex on my phone, get logged in. So you guys can see that. You can see the movies on the Plex app. Pretty much identical, same process on the shield as well. So bear with me here. Alright guys, we're recording on my phone. I've looked up Plets on the Google Play Store. I'm installing Plets now. And it's going to take a while. Well, I'll be right back once it's done. Alright guys, what you're looking at is my movies um, and shows. I'm not going to click any of these to play these, but you can easily do that. So, um... Yeah, that is how you install Plet Server and add your movies. One thing to note, guys, is the Libraries tab is how you go to add your movies. Click Add Library, then you can choose the uh, the type of library, such as movies, videos, um, pictures, music, and things like that. I could enable remote access as well. If I had remote access, guys, I could uh, easily watch this at work or wherever I would like. Um, but I just want to show a quick tutorial of how to do that. But yeah, that's how you do it. It's pretty easy, pretty, pretty simple. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns about how I did this, if you have issues with anything at all, guys, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to uh, respond. If, you, if you're already a viewer of mine, you know I'm very quick to respond. I will do whatever I can to help you guys. That's what I'm here for. Um, but uh, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it out with your friends. I'll, um, help me grow the channel. It's growing quite, growing quite nicely so far. Let's keep it going. If you want to show your support, look in the description below. You'll see uh, three methods as well as affiliate links. Um, feel free to do any of that to show your support. It's really helpful. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.